Hey, what's up guys? My name's Josue. Welcome back to La Vida Josue. So today I'm going to show you how to make pickles. That's it. Just pickles. Super fast, super easy. So stick around and watch this video and I'll teach you how to make pickles right now. Now, step number one is food safety. So whenever I'm making something at home that you know normally you just get off the shelves at a grocery store, I like to be extra careful when I'm jarring or canning or packaging or whatever it is that I'm doing. Because you know, ultimately I want people to try it and my goal is for them to like it, of course, but more than anything, not get sick or anything like that. So sterilization is super important when it comes to making pickled anything really, you wanna make sure that the jars are 100% sterilized. There's a few different ways that you can sterilize your jars. A few ways are one, you can put them in the oven and bake them for a certain amount of time because that's going to increase the heat of the jar and then kill all the germs. Two, if you have a sanitizer solution, you can use that as well. Just make sure that you run the jars through the sanitizer solution very thoroughly to make sure that the water that you're using is at the needed temperature to meet that pH level so the sanitizer takes full effect. What I did is I took the jars, the lids, and the rings and I put them all in a pot. I filled it up with water, brought it to a boil, and let it boil for a few minutes so I know it would kill all the germs and sterilize the jars that way. This may be an extra step or some might even think an unneeded step because I've seen some videos where they just sterilize the rings and the lids but I'm like you know that's not enough I want to do the whole thing because I want to make sure that nothing has germs on it. So I did all of them together in a pot and if you don't have a pot that's that big I'm just doing three like they're like jam jars so I, honestly I think I have the wrong kind of jars but they're jars nonetheless. And then what I did is I took a baking sheet I put a piece of foil over it I took a pair of tongs took the jars the lids and the rings out of the boiling water and then place them on the baking sheet and then let them rest until they come to room temperature. So what we can do while the jars come down to room temperature is we can work on the vinegar solution and of course the pickles or cucumbers because they're not pickles yet. All right so let's talk cucumbers. I went to my local market today and I found these beautiful pickling cucumbers. I mean look at these. These are just the perfect size. They're just the right shade of green. They're not too bumpy. You ever see some cucumbers that are just like really bumpy? These don't have too many bumps. It's okay. I mean, I don't mind it. It gives them a nice extra crunch. These don't really have that many bumps, but that's okay. We can still work with these. Now, take note. Now, when you're looking for a cucumber to pickle, you really want to make sure that you look for pickling cucumbers, which are typically a little bit smaller, sometimes even a little bit greener. The pickles that you normally see in your produce section that are like the thick green ones, you know, those aren't really the best ones because those are the ones that you like put in your salad and stuff like that. You really want to look for like an English cucumber or one of these, a pickling cucumber. Now, these cucumbers are all nice and washed. I've already ran them through some hot water. My hands are sanitized and clean so we're good to go. Now there was eight cucumbers in here but now there's only seven because Ash likes cucumbers so we put one to the side for her so she can eat it later. So we're working with seven. Now as I mentioned before the jars that I'm using aren't exactly like the big tall ones where the pickles can stand up straight and that's my bad because I got the wrong jars. But that's okay because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them two different ways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take three of these and I'm going to slice these almost into like hamburger pickles and then I'm gonna take four of these and make them into spears. Now I know because of the jars that I got that if I stand them up straight they're gonna be too tall for the jars so even though these guys are kind of little they're not even that big for real I'm still gonna cut them in half and make little miniature spears out of these four. So first a sliced cucumber and I'm gonna do this with all of them by the way I'm gonna take just a little bit off the tail and a little bit off the top. That way they're nice and flat on each side here. For the sliced ones, I'm just gonna run my knife and make little slices. Now we have perfectly sliced cucumbers ready to make pickle slices. These will go perfect on your burger or on your hot dog or however you like to eat pickles or just by themselves. Now for the spears, it's gonna be the same thing. So we're gonna tail and top them. Even easier really, we're just gonna cut them in half, put them face down, and then we're gonna just cut them in half again and I'm only one handing this so you guys can see the camera better and as I mentioned before because of the height of the jars we just want to make sure that we take a few at a time here and then we just cut them in half to make sure that they actually stand up in the jars properly so now we have perfectly cut spears ready for our jars so now we have our cucumbers all cut up slices on the left spears on the right it's Britney bitch so now that our cucumbers are sliced up let's talk aromatics now when you're making a brine the aromatics are really up to you because it's really whatever you want your pickles to taste like most people when they make pickles they make dill pickles 
And no, I don't mean dill pickles, I mean dill pickles. But honestly, I don't really like dill that much. I've had it before, like in potato salads and pickles, of course, and by itself, and I'm like, I don't know why dill is like cilantro for some people to me. But the good news is that if you're like me and you don't like dill, you don't have to use it. And I'm not gonna use it because I'm actually gonna eat these pickles, and I'm not just gonna make something for YouTube because everybody does it this way, and I don't like it that way. You can use a variety of essences. You can use garlic, you can use salt, peppercorns, mustard seeds, sage, rosemary, whatever you want to experiment with or is available to you in your local area, do that. Today I'm keeping it easy. I'm gonna do garlic cloves, mustard seed, black peppercorns, salt, distilled vinegar and water of course, and red chili flakes. So it's finally time to make the brine. We start with two cups of white distilled vinegar, next two cups of water, so you want equal parts vinegar to equal parts water. Then we add in all the aromatics that we talked about before. And then we turn up the heat, and as soon as it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn that heat all the way down. Our jars are finally ready to put together and safe to touch. Since there's three jars, I'm gonna use six cloves of garlic and put two cloves of garlic in each jar. Next, I'm gonna start with the spears and start putting these in standing up. Hopefully this works for me. And that's about how full as I got the first one. And this is how the spears came out. And yes, I did have to kind of stuff them a little bit on the top. So same thing with our slices. We're gonna go ahead and take these and just kind of lay them down as flat as possible. I'm gonna try to make them go around in a circle here so I can fit as many as I can without it going overboard. There we have the slice pickles. So same thing, I just stuffed them as much as I could. And honestly, these worked out even better, I think. I think I was able to fit more slice pickles than the uh, spears. Beers. So the water's starting to boil. Oh, steamy. We want to go ahead and shut off the heat immediately. And we want to go ahead and just take it off the heat so it stops boiling. And then we're going to immediately start to ladle this into the jars. There we have our three jars of pickles, two spears and one slice. So as you can see, some of the pickles are kind of sticking out. So what you want to do is just kind of take that spoon, just make sure you push them down so they're all the way submerged. Final step is to make sure that we put the lids on every single jar. Then we want to squeeze every single ring on and you want to make sure you just squeeze all of them super hand tight. And that's how you make pickled pickles. Pickled cucumbers, pickles. That's how you make pickles. Super easy, super fast. Use whatever aromatics that you want. Make them however you want them. But this is just a foundation on how to make pickles and you can just take it wherever you want from there. So if you like pickles in this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up because it increases the visibility of this video in my channel. And if you want more of this, then I'll make more videos for you guys. Make sure that you hit the bell so you're notified the next time that I post a video. I have everything that I use in the kitchen or just to make these videos in general linked down in the description box below. So go down there if you want to do some early Christmas shopping. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!